mint is equal to minimum plus maximum divided by 2. So what exactly the drawback? I need to compare one by one with all the values. That's what I will call it as a linear search. Please remember one thing. I need to have all the values in the sorted order. Only then I will be able to do the perform or I will be able to perform the binary search. Hello everyone. I welcome all of you to yet another important session. So my dear students, all of you will be searching for my videos in the YouTube, right? So guys, yes, I will be discussing the same concept here. So that is searching. So what exactly searching is all about? And I will be showing you the simulation of two different types of searching. One is linear search, another one is binary search. It's very important that you need to understand these two important types of search. So guys, without wasting much of our time, let's get into the concept. So what exactly the searching is all about? Say for example, I have multiple items. I have stored multiple items. That's what you need to remember. Say, let's take an example of array. Imagine this is my array. All right. So imagine this is my array. So in this array, I have stored multiple items like 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. This is my items that I have in the array. So when I have this, it's very important for all of us to search for a given item. Say, for example, I need to check whether I have 40 in this array or not. How do I search? All of us, you know, we will be searching. Say, for example, I have 40. So I need to compare this with the 10. So it is not. I need to compare this 40 with 20. So it is not. I need to compare this with 30. It is not. I need to compare this 40 with 40. Yes, it is matching. Yes, I have the item. Suppose if I want to search for 45, I will be comparing this 45 with all the items that I have. So finally, I will not find this 45 and I will say that element not found. So guys, so this is what I will call it as a searching. This is what I will call it as a searching. When it comes to this concept that is searching, I will come across with two important type of searching. One is linear or sequential search. What exactly linear search is all about? You will be wondering. I will be discussing that now. All right. Along with that, a very important and interesting search that is binary search. What exactly binary is all about? Sir, you are supposed to start this B with a capital letter. No, sir. Why are you starting it with a B? So that is a special. When it comes to binary search, so it reduces half of your effort. So that's why half B is not there. That's a concept that I've included here, my dear students. Nothing much. Let me start that. The first one. So what exactly I have here? I have the array. I have taken the array. So this is what I will call it as a array yes i have the array so please observe i need to search for this 57 in this array i need to search for this 57 in this array so what is that i'm going to match so first i will match with the first element so it is not matching so what i will do so after that i will match this 57 with the 2 i will match i will try to match this 57 with the 2 and again it is not matching so after that, what I will be doing, so please watch the simulation carefully. So I will be matching, I will be trying to compare this 57 with the 3. So again, it is not matching. Sir, how are you matching it? How are you trying to compare? So I'm trying to compare with all the indexes, whatever I have. So in this index, what is the value that I have? I'm trying to match this 57 with that value. So after that, I'm trying to match with the 9. It is not matching then after 9 so I am trying to I will try to match with 11 so again it will not match that's what you need to observe here so now I'm trying to match with a a of 4 what is the value that I have in the a of 4 so I have 11 so it is not matching then I will move forward to the next element that is a of 5 in the a of 5 so what is the item that I have 13 so 13 is not matching to 57 so after that again I will move to the a of 6 what is the element that I have in the AF6? I have 17. 17 will be compared to 57. Again, that is not matching. 17 is not matching with the 57. So fine. What is that I will do? I will compare AF7 with uh, 
57. What is that I have in the AF7? 25. 25, I'm comparing with the 57. Is it matching? Obviously not. Again, I will match AF8 content. What is that I have in the AF8? So AF8 contains 57. So I will match 57 with 57. It's matching. Element found. So this type of search is what I will call it as a linear search and the element found in the location A of 8. Okay guys, the next concept that I have is binary search. So let me show you how exactly binary search is working. Before that, let me tell you the drawback of this. So what exactly the drawback? I need to compare one by one with all the values. That's what I will call it as a linear search. Guys, I want all of you to look out the simulation for uh, binary search. Let me show you the simulation now. So here I need to find the 57. I need to find out the 57. So how do I find this 57 using binary search? I will be calculating the upper bound and lower bound. So I have min and max value. So using that min and max value, I will be calculating the mid value. So the formula to calculate the mid value is mid is equal to min plus max divided by 2. So here the min value is 0 and the max value is 9. So it gives me 4. So the mid value is A of 4. I have 11. I will be comparing that with the 57. So when I have this, so again the 57 is greater. So since the minimum value I have, the less when we compare to the uh, searching value I will make the next value as a minimum value and then I will again calculate the mid value so you all know the formula to calculate the mid value that is 5 plus 9 divided by 2 is 7 so my a of 7 is going to become the mid value now so 25 is again compared to 57 the same thing is repeating so again what happens I have the 25 so 25 is lesser than the 57 right so that's why I will re again assume that the 57 that is a of 8 is a minimum value so again I will calculate the mid value so my mid value goes like this 8 plus 9 so divided by 2 gives me 8 so again my mid value is becoming again a of 8 so value that I have with the a of 8 is 57 and the value that I want to search is 57 so element found so guys this is a successful search. What is that you need to understand here? So please observe carefully. I have the simulation. So all of you would have seen the simulation. So why do I have the binary search when I have the linear search? Observe in the linear search, I need to compare each and every element. Suppose if my element is present at the end, I have to compare each and every element. So that is taking a lot of time but when it comes to binary search directly I will be calculating the mid value say for example I will be calculating the mid value here so I will not compare or I will not check this value directly I will ignore it so when I want to perform this binary search please remember one thing I need to have all the values in the sorted order only then I will be able to do the perform or I will be able to perform the binary search otherwise it is very difficult to perform the binary search is what you need to remember so fine how do I calculate as I told you in the beginning in the voiceover so you need to calculate the minimum value first you need to calculate or you need to identify the minimum value and the maximum value after identifying the minimum and the maximum value you will be able to calculate the mid value you will be able to calculate the mid value how so you have the formula so min plus max divided by 2 will give you the mid value so fine I have calculated the mid value imagine so a of 4 is a mid value whatever the value that I have in the a of 4 whatever the value that I have in the a of 4 that will be compared with the element that I wanted to search that I, I will be comparing the element that I wanted to search so fine so if this element, if this element is lesser than this element that is 57 which I wanted to find, what I will be doing? So I will make this mid as min. I will make this mid as min. So fine, again I got the new minimum value and I have the same maximum value. For this, I will calculate the mid value. For this, I will calculate the mid value. That's what you need to understand. So I will be repeating this step again and again 
until I get the value matched. This is case number one. Case number two, please observe carefully. Sir, suppose you have got the value, okay? Imagine I don't have 57 in this case. I have three in this case. What happens? You will compare the mid value. You will compare the mid value with the element that you wanted to search. So fine, here the mid value is greater than the search element. And in this case, what you will do? So instead of making this as min, I will make this as max. I will make this as max. Again, I have the min already, right? So min, max. Using this min and new min and max, I will calculate the mid value. So I will be repeating this step again until I get my element. So this is how you will be performing the binary search. So this type of searching will help me to reduce half of the search. That's what you need to understand with respect to this. So guys, with this I have come to an end of the session. So please wait for the next interesting session. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.